first thing I would like to show you are the functions. Here you can see the most important functions, which we also call the favorites. Here we have a burglar alarm for the whole house, our fire and water alarms, office main entrance, a side entrance, our window protection, a charging station for an electric vehicle, and our HVAC filter monitor. It's easy to change this. For example, if I don't want to see the HVAC filter monitor anymore, I go to the settings and I tell it not to display in favorites. In the home overview, we've developed a lot of new function blocks. One of these is our new door function block. It allows you to combine doors and open and close multiple doors at the same time. We also have an overview of our window protection. As you can see here, it lists all of the windows in the home. We can see that all of our windows are closed currently. We also have a fire and water alarm function block. It even shows a list of all of the last triggers of our sensors. As you can see in our demo home, we have quite a few opportunities to test the sensors. We also have a number of other function blocks like music, burglar alarm, and lighting as well. We also have a new overview of each room. We've summarized the favorite rooms in the top of the overview. All of the most important rooms in my home are listed at the top, such as the living room, the kitchen, master bath, master bedroom, and others. The rooms which are not as important, or the ones that I use less frequently, are listed in the All section below. The overview of categories is the same. Categories like access, gate, alarm, audio, lighting, and temperature I have listed as my favorites, and thus they appear at the top. However, just like before, whenever I'd like to change that, I simply go into interface settings and tell it not to display as favorites, and just like that it's gone. All of the other categories that aren't listed as favorites can be found below. Switching back to the rooms page, we're able to select a specific room, in this case the master bedroom. The most important functions appear larger than the rest at the top of the screen. Here we have climate, music, and lighting. If I select on climate, I'm able to see the current temperature as well as adjust the settings. The settings allow me to adjust the cooling schedule, the heating schedule, or the current mode. Using the audio block, I'm able to turn on the music, change the volume, or by clicking on it, change the source. We also have a new lighting controller. One of the new features of the lighting controller is the ability to mix lighting scenes using the plus symbols next to them. As you can see, our motion mood is already active. When I click on the plus next to relax, I'm able to combine the two scenes. This allows me to add more or different light to the current scene. By clicking on more, I'm able to change the settings for the selected scene. Here we're able to change the intensity of the color or change the color itself. We also have the ability to set a color sequence. This allows us to select colors by tapping on the color wheel, which will then change at the interval that you choose. These are just some of the features of our brand new lighting controller.